Jeez, Mongo. Somebody's been stress eating. Who are you friends? Friends? What are you talking about? Man and dog. Oh, them? They weren't friends. Just a guy who's unfamiliar with the portal system out here. I'm not even sure that was a dog with him. Weird pair. I just helped them get back home. You lie. You kill indiscriminately. Not me. Leader. Oh, the great Sand King. Like he'd ever lift a finger when he's got a bunch of puppets to do his bidding. Needs fingers to work with strings. What? For the puppets. Wait, was that a joke? No, no. But it was sort of clever. Be careful with that, Mongo. You know your owners don't allow comedy. Not owners. Owners, rulers, same difference. How can same be different? Wow, I just used an oxymoron to defeat a moron moron. Okay, big guy, this was fun. Tell the uh, Sand King I said he should die of gonorrhea and rotten hell. Oh, and keep working on that comedy. You never know. Maybe you can escape and become the next Yakov Smirnoff. It'll be another miracle on the Hudson. No, wait, that was the one with the plane. Moscow on the Hudson, that's what I meant. Wait, which is the one with Bruce Willis? It, ah, never mind. Toodles, you hippopotamic landmass. I like your shirt. Cerro Mercedario. Uh, Parker Abernathy. No, that's the name of the mountain. Sorry, I can't roll my R's. I can purr, though. The big one, Mayor. We're in the Andes. Argentina. You're, uh... Sagittarius. I know. Epoch. Yeah, it is. No, that's my name. You can call me Epoch. Epoch? Like a long poem? No, Epoch like a period of time. Epoch, if you're British, but you're not British. You're, like, spirit. I'm a protector, yes. You're real, though. Thank you for noticing. Chile. I thought you said Argentina. I meant the weather. You must be freezing. At least the two of us are covered in fur. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty cold. Here. Better? Yeah. How did you... Energy. Energy? Everything is energy. I'll show you. How did we get here? The last thing I remember was... Crippling pain? Yeah. Spirit sent you here. Well, he sent you away from there, at least. Ending up here was just pure random chance. I'm glad you were here, then. Oh, I wasn't here. I was in Montana. Montana? Like, in the United States? Yep, outside of Kalispell. Quite the journey. I could say the same for you. 
wandering around with a giant fox in your arms. Where were you headed anyway? No idea. There wasn't anything where we were. As far as I knew, there wouldn't be anything coming either. So I just started walking. Honestly, I kind of assumed we were still in the fourth dimension. No, you're safe and sound here in good old South America. That was supposed to be a Back to the Future reference. Oh, sorry. That's okay. It was a reach. How about we get the two of you home? Sounds great. Wait, we, we need to go back to our campsite first. All taken care of. What? I got a guy. Zuber? No, your Zuber is still hanging out at Ava Grace's mom's place. This is... Also Zuber. That's short for exuberant, but spelled with a Z. Z U single butt er. Get spirit mention bleed through to you? Now I bet that you are curious about the car. Honestly, I wasn't sure where you usually park. 16B. And where do you park this? Uh, I'll take care of that one. Thanks. Good to see you've made your way out, spirit. Thank you, Syzygy, my dear. Uh, Ikor was behaving differently. Do you think he's gotten another uh, upgrade? Probably. We're still trying to figure out how your portal was redirected like that. Thankfully, you all still ended up together. Are Patrick and Violet Lace safe? I had to cast them adrift after they got zapped. I know. You did the right thing. And yes, Epic was able to track them down. She and Zuber are with them back in Canyon Springs. And you should call them by their real names. I accidentally did the one time with Parker. Uh, Isla Grace is a fox. Not just a fox. I'm sorry. I know this is all going to be extremely difficult for you. I'm concerned about Parker's shirt. He's a professor at the university there. The faction won't be searching the lower dimensions. At least not for some time. We have our window. We need to take advantage of it. What are their chances? I don't know. It's Impossible to tell at this point. We haven't even started training them up yet, but we have to try. Hudson Locke! Excuse me? Hudson Hawk with Bruce Willis. Boy, hey, that's a load off my mind. So when can I rejoin them? The faction has eyes on you right now. You need to lay low for a bit, as difficult as that may be. We need to keep their focus on our dimension. Zuber can provide the necessary cover while Epic does her job. Man, I hate laying low. Yeah, I know. We all know. You're all... Protectors. And spirit can look like this too? I mean... Tangible? He can. Is he okay? 
we were being chased. Oh, well, he's fine. He's a fox. He's crafty. And he rather enjoys being something of a scofflaw. We all do. Well, only when it comes to the faction. We're actually very well behaved most of the time. But... Not with them. Yes, not with the faction. What is the latest from the Iklar? The fox managed to provide an escape for his companions, sir. We couldn't trace their exit, however. He must have sent them off without direction. So, the fox did not lie? Half-truths, to be certain. Clever little squit. This man must be of importance. Any protector movement thereafter? Unusually quiet. Good. They think that hides their tracks, but their silence will be their undoing. The dog that was with him? Fox-like. Much larger, though. Perhaps a maimed wolf, if it originated on Earth. Sentient? Not if that's the case. Could be a non-Earth species, though. I'll put research on it. Anything else? The man's shirt. A lower dimensional university. Useful? It's a popular institution of higher learning, so... Possible connections could be well into the millions. But it's a start. See to it, then. Yet another brave soldier. So, are you ready? Ready for what? Let's call it your first lesson. What are we doing? Reverse engineering. Put your hand on her chest here. Can you get us some clothes, Zuber? I'm on it. Getting clothes is what Zubers do best. Is this going to hurt? You or her? Her? I'm not worried about myself. She will be fine. Hang, hang on. I, um, I've got to... I've got to check something first. Yeah, that's a pretty universal response amongst us quadrupeds. Have you satisfied your scientific curiosity now? It will never be satisfied. I understand. We cats are often governed by our curiosity. But I am ready to have a human fiancé once again. Can you feel it? Yeah. What does it feel like to you? Uh... First thing that comes to your mind, there is no wrong answer. Buffalo wings? Good. Why is that good? That means you're truly feeling it. If you have said something vague, like vibrations or pulses, I'd have questioned the strength of your abilities. She's not in pain? Tell me this, do you like your buffalo wings spicy? 
Yeah. But there's a limit, right? Sure. At some point, the wings are overtaken by the spiciness and lose their flavor. Similarly, this feeling for her exists just beneath that precipice. So it's not painful. It's tangy. Parker? Hi, sweetheart. How are you feeling? Fuzzy. I had the weirdest dream. Ooh, do tell. 